Hello, good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining us today and today and welcome to the Public Policy Forum of LACNIC 41. I'm Marcela Orbiscay and together with Sergio Rojas, we're going to be in charge of today's session. Thank you, Marcela. And let me tell you that today the discussion of the proposals to be to take place in the room. It is also important to participate in the policy list, so the comments will be useful to achieve consensus. Now, those of you who haven't subscribed to the policy list, please do so. You can access LACNIC's website. There is a uh, you can click on community. And there you will see the ways in which you can subscribe to the list. Today we'll be ha discussing seven proposals. The moderators will share a report of what happened in previous events, as well as some other facts on the Public Policy Forum. As Sergio was saying, let us present a brief report and briefly tell you about the recent events at the forum. First of all, let me share some details with you. This is the address where you can, and you can also subscribe using this QR code. It's important to have everyone's opinion so that you can all participate. Now, you don't need to be a member. This is something that we remind you of, just in case. And this is totally free of charge. Sergio Rojas and myself are the two chairs. During this session, I will stand up. During this session and in the mailing list, we are subject to the Code of Conduct of LACNIS community. That is a link to the Code of Conduct in case you wish to check this out. As we were saying, we now invite you to participate from where you are, whether if you work for a large corporation that provides connectivity service or services or if you're just a common user or an end user who might be interested in promoting improvements to our policy manual or to our policy development process. So let us recap. For those of you who are new, let me show you how the policy development process is carried out. Once a proposal is presented, as we said, whether to improve the policy manual or the policy development process, so this proposal enters the system. There is an initial discussion which begins once the proposal is included in the list. It is submitted to the list. We have at least eight weeks or the necessary time to present this at the first forum. Following that, the chairs take the time to determine whether this reaches consensus. This is a process that takes 14 days until after this initial discussion. Later on, if the proposal follows the path after the first consensus, we go to the last comments period. This is a four-week period. Any member of the list can send the final comments in favor or against so that we can then assess and carry out the second consensus. This takes the chairs a period of up to seven days. If this proposal then goes through the second consensus, it is then forwarded to the ratification by the board. If during each of these steps, the first consensus and the second consensus or the ratification of the proposal consensus is not reached or if this is not ratified, it can then return to 
a prior stage with a new version and be subject to discussion. It could also be abandoned. I forgot to say that once the proposal is ratified, it is implemented. So this is a life cycle of a proposal. We just spoke about consensus at the public policy forum. We don't vote, but we reach consensus. Let me read what our policy development process states. It is understand that a proposal reaches consensus when it has the support of significant opinions after an extensive discussion and if there are no irrefutable technical objections. So let us briefly have a look at what happened after the last form, LACNIC 40, with the proposals that had been submitted so far. Proposal LAC 2023-3, version 1, considerations to declare a proposal as abandoned, did not reach consensus. Proposal LAC 2022-2, version number 3, clarification, leasing resources is not accepted in the current policies. This did not reach consensus. Proposal LAC 2023-5, version 1, elimination of ROAS in the case of recovered resources. This proposal reached consensus but was not ratified by the board. Proposal LAC 2023-6, version 1, special exception for in global critical infrastructure providers did not reach consensus. Sergio, would you like to go on now? This slide over here shows the life cycle of the life uh, cycle of each uh, the life cycle of each proposed present uh, proposal, and we will present the proposal, there will be an impact analysis, considering that some of the proposals do not have impact analysis. And finally, we have a 10-minute period during which in the room or those who are following us remotely can discuss this proposal or make any questions, ask any questions to the policy proposer. And finally, we'll measure temperature in the room, those who are here in person or following this remotely. And like Marcela was saying, this tool will be useful to measure the consensus. This is not voting, it's just like a survey to assess the acceptance of this proposal that is being presented. Regarding the use of this um, form, the, each speaker has to speak in their native language. There is simultaneous interpretation, and please respect the times allocated by the chair so you can finish on time. And in the effort to try to listen to everyone, let us prioritize the diversity of voices. In other words, when Having the discussion, we'll open the microphones and priority will be given to those who haven't stated their opinions previously. And we'll be then giving the floor to those who already did take the floor. Here we see the agenda. Uh, we are using uh, 10 minutes of the break, so I want uh, your patience. Uh, the proposals that we're going to present here are LACA 2023-13, version 2. The name is Contributions for Declaring a Proposal as Abandoned. At um, uh, 1530, we'll start with LAC uh, 2024-3, version 1, uh, Use of the Resources by uh, authorized third parties, uh, but uh, authorized by the receptors, receivers, and uh, in, at uh, then at 11:50, lag 20, 1 version one introduction of proposals in the PDP, and then uh, at 12:14, uh, 20, 23 7 version two, the name is temporary transfers. As I mentioned, these are seven proposals. At 12:34. Uh, 
the proposal uh, will be LAC 2024-2 version 1. The name is Procedure for Appealing. At uh, uh, 14, LAC 2023-6 uh, version 2, except special exception for uh, global critical infrastructure providers. And the last proposal at 1423, the proposal LAC 2023-4 version 2. The name is Legacy Resources Management. Then we have uh, 30, 40 minutes of open microphone where the community will have a chance to uh, speak up uh, about the proposals of the PDP or the forum. And uh, we intend to close at uh, uh, 1525. So without further ado, let us start with the presentations. Perfecto. Eh, vamos a presentar eh, ahora la propuesta LAC 2023. LAC 2023. Uh, um, um, let us invite uh, Thomas Lynch uh, to present uh, the proposal. When to consider that the proposal has been abandoned, and we remind him that he has three minutes to present it. Thank you. So 